Hello, hello to all gamers as usual. Guess what? We got a new pack this week. Um, the theme of this pack is summoning and anti-summoning. And then also, like, there's some new animals. Um, like, so the iguana is an interesting one now. Because if we're going up against crickets, anytime they summon a zombie cricket, the iguana just freaking kills it. It also crushes toucans that pass a bee backwards. So the toucan is still really good, to be honest. I'm going to take an iguana. I'm going to take two iguanas. And then you know what? Give me a duck because a duck has some future upside. End my turn. And then let me be the, um, I'll be a motherly herb. Like, for example, nutmeg. S vanilla extract. I guess that's not a, a, an herb. Okay, we're getting crushed. But imagine if we had killed their zombie cricket and their cricket. <laughs> So you won't see new animals for a bit, but that that's okay. Give me a toucan. Give me a duck. So there is, like, the, the mouse at 3-2 with upside actually kind of appeals to me now, to be honest with you. Um, especially because there's an animal that shows up at, like, tier 5. And whenever you feed it an apple, it gets buffed. Um, or, sorry, it obviously, it gets buffed. It buffs other animals as well. Are you kidding me, man? We draw. So... You could almost like save up a bunch of mice and then like pop all the apples at once. I just don't know if we're gonna have time to get there. Cause I forgot to give you the other uh, piece of feedback for this uh, Meeb gaming so far, which is uh, I've been, the best number of wins I've gotten on this weekly pack so far is two. <laughs> so maybe don't take me as an authoritative source. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine iguanas. Croissant, by the way, is really good. Gives you one extra attack per turn. Um, permanently, which is amazing. But I'm going to take another toucan to do a toucan passing a B. And then an aardvark, if we go up against a summon build, it just pops off. So I'm not going to take the croissant, but it, it was up there. Um, honestly, I don't mind our team so far. If we find something good, maybe we sell the duck to give it a leg up. You got a 10-11 toucan. That's pretty strong, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think there's any way we're getting over that. Um, I Wait a minute, we're going to draw? That's hilarious. I also can't help but feel we've structured our team around the idea that if enemies uh, shoot, we're going to, or if enemies summon, we're going to own them. And then our enemies have not uh, summoned, which is not, it seems bad, I think is the obvious way to describe that. Um, I guess we could, you know, for example, we could have a mouse and then you would get two, three. You know what? Let's try something here. Let's sell a duck, run a mouse. And then you'll become a, you'll get to the point where you're a 5-6. No, a 5-7. Holy cow. Wouldn't mind a toucan, by the way. It's just kind of like, you know, level me up, consolidate the situation. Um, I don't really see a need for broccoli right now. I'm, I'm not by doing a lot of buying. That's fair. You know what? If we're going to roll this, like, jacked up squad, let's have our rat uh, eat a croissant. So it gets a little stronger. I also feel like croissants. Oh my god, hold on. Is it happening? Are we shooting you? Oh, it finally happened. I feel like croissants are in like the uh, top 10 most consumed food by rats. What makes me think that? I bet they day olds probably get thrown out by bakeries all the freaking time. So I wouldn't surprise me if rats end up eating donuts, bagels, loaves of bread, etc., etc. Now, things are getting a little weird. Let me tell you something obvious. I think that the iguana just isn't that good right now. Um, I feel like we can run a second aardvark, combine our two cans, and then run two rats for a minute and get all the benefits. Okay, we'll pass a bee backwards. There is a part of me that thinks maybe you could just make a penguin work on this. I gotta, like, reimagine my, my whole life. I still don't like the clownfish. Friend levels up against 2-2. Two, two. Maybe if we got it earlier, but... I, I gotta reimagine my whole life because I'm so used to the old weekly pack. We gotta recalibrate. Okay, is this the same squad? I don't know. No iguana plays, but look, dude, look at those freaking aardvark plays, though. Hold on, is it happening? We actually won a round. I don't believe it. Two to go until we beat our PB. Lots of draws so far, no, no question there. For now, forget this penguin, man. We don't need a pineapple. We don't need any broccoli. Nobody really needs HP, honestly. 
I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of looking for levels. You know what? Let's have one of our aardvarks take a croissant. Might as well give it some buff. You only summon a stronger dirty rat. Is that correct? Hold on. Let me, let me look it up. Or maybe, hold on. Can I just go animals? Um, mouse. Tier, tier one? Tier, tier one. No, that's, I'm not looking at mouse. I'm looking at rat. Summons two dirty rats. Okay, so sure. I think we instead would take a, a level... Oh, but we don't want to do it till next turn. Okay, that's fine. And you... I don't know about you yet, but it's an easy combine for space later. Maybe? Dude, am, am I crazy? Is it possible the rat actually becomes viable here? Could we have a viable rat build? It didn't pop off for the hippo, but times are a-changing. They, they took my rat... I, I couldn't summon because the rat didn't get any freaking kills, man. That's so painful. Okay, but you know what? We, we live, you learn. What do you got for me? We're going next level rat. Make the rat as strong as possible. The rat absolutely has to at least get a kill. And if I'm being straight up with you, I think you can sell this toucan. And you're going to think I've lost my mind. I think you can run... Three aardvarks and a, and then a second rat. <laughs> and I'm, now I'm feeling like maybe I'm kind of losing it. But imagine. You know what? That croissant is a good food. When you consider what was in like default pack three, Croissant doesn't feel like such a bad food. Now, how the heck are we going to get one over on this ox? I'll stop you. I'm not sure that we are. However, look, look at those freaking buffs, dude. Oh, my God. But because we summoned so many rats, their ox got so strong. If that's not an ox, we draw. But do I still think this team can work. Though you may think that I've lost my mind. Hold on. Hold on. Let's combine... And then we'll have a rat, we'll have a whale eat a rat. And we don't want it to be the level two because the level two has the best stats. I'm looking, respectfully. Mole, on buy, give adjacent friends 1-1. One, one. It's kind of interesting. I don't think it fits our current build. But it's it interesting. Something to think about for the future. How about a parrot that does the same thing as a rat? I don't think so. I think we're happy where we stand here. Whale rat is a bit of a strange... Oh, but how is the whale rat going to summon a rat for the enemy on turn one? The answer, I'll tell you, is that it's... Oh, because they had something die for some reason. What? How did this happen? Hold on. Now we spit out a rat. The rat spits out a rat. We're popping. How did that work? That's never going to work long term, right? Cause, let me go through my thought process. You're going to eat um, a rat, but then there's going to be no space for the rat to spawn for our opponent. So I don't think you run this. I think you have to go. I would rather have three rats, though it sounds insane. I would definitely, I was just going to say, I would love to have two level two rats. By the way, we're, we're one away from my personal best. Can you believe this? Kind of a sad story, honestly. Anything here that fits the bill? I mean, honestly, a triceratops guaranteed like generates some triggers off of this level two rat so maybe it, it, there's worth a it's worth a thought i don't know man i don't see how we could get much more scaling than this which is a bad sign but okay so we've learned everybody loves to roll uh penguins okay or not penguins pandas i think we win this man here's my hurt triggers yeah we win this okay little surprising but check it out I think we're doing well with two aardvarks, too, even though it's a little bit of a strange way to run your life. Um, I still think... I, don't, I think we accept the efficiency of one Triceratops. I guess we didn't have to sell you, because I bet... Do you summon three? Yeah, but we're never going to have the space for three to get summoned. Two is a dream in and of itself. You're like a, a just-in-case. but Not in a bad way. Certainly not interested in a toucan. Okay, you know what? The just-in-case has arrived. You take another buff. Level 2 Triceratops would be nice. And would you look at that? There it is. I don't know, man. It's, it's a little different. It's a little different. 
Uh, that's horrendous news, I think. I don't see how this could possibly go well for us. All right, that's a strong team. Turns out uh, Monkey is still a pretty good unit. And we're dead, but hey, do you know what? A bit weird, which is good for me, like psychologically, and kind of a cool run. So I'll, I'll still take a mouse. You know what? Let's not build around our opponent. Ah, but dude, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, so many people take a toucan. Give me a two, three duck for stats. And you know, give me an otter first. Don't hit you. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I love this. I love this freeze right here. Let me be the precious uh, bits. No one's gonna have toucan B turn one, but turn two, many people will try a B and a toucan chain. I would a B and a toucan chain. I'll have a B and a toucan chain. Look, I just don't want to be a scumbag and run toucan, so let's run an iguana as an anti toucan. And uh, <clears throat> for the time being, as much as Panda has been obviously, uh, we've seen it represented in the meta. We're, what if we took a lot of apples? What if we took a lot of apples? See, they, they're clearly well represented right now. Hey, nice B. Hey, nice B. Be a shame if uh, you got blown out. Two times by the best iguana. Okay, so the iguana I love is an anti-toucan. In a world where everybody's taking the toucan, who says no to an iguana? For the time being, for space, you do create two apples. So you do scale linearly in that direction. Now let me check something. Three free apples at level, level three. It's just that it's a good pivot unit. Now, why don't you come here? Could have sold two ducks there, I'll admit. I'm going to put a B on you. I don't think we want our iguana level, to level up. It's merely existing as a toucan enabler right now. I would love to have uh, an ox with a croissant on it. The melon should not override it. I mean, it'll override in... Um, big whoop. Uh, what, you think you're smart or something? <laughs> I thought of that two turns ago. It'll override it in battle, but that doesn't matter because we'll keep the effect from it, I assume. Um, so let's give you a croissant. Gonna go a little sicko mode, have you level up. <clears throat> you know what? I love a giraffe. When the mood is right, I'm gonna giraffe all night. By the way, crab only copies 50% of the highest health now. A lot of people will say boo, a lot of people will say boo. I don't know. It was so easy to create like a decent team with crabs. Maybe they weren't overpowered, but they had a certain degree of power. Hold on, 8-7 Iguana? We draw these? My B would have won it, so your Iguana was a great play. Well played. Maybe it wouldn't have won it now that I think about it. Math is hard. I think we're at the point. We can sell our Iguana. Now it sounds crazy. I'm gonna put a Panda out there. Buffing our duck. Because for some reason our duck is popping. I'm still okay with this. Now what's the mouse doing? I'm telling you there is an animal that comes later. It doesn't seem that great by the way. But if you feed it specifically an apple. It buffs a unit with 1-1. One, one. one extra 1-1 one, one buff. Now that might not seem that impressive. Let me tell you that's because it's not that impressive. We lose this but just barely. But we could do it, which is impressive. In its own way. I need something useful here. We're, we know we're going to want to sell a duck at some point. I'll, we'll buff our panda, even though I think it's very... It could leave. Copy seagulls held food to a friend who is summoned. I don't know how to build around that, so I'm scared. Nothing here has any merit whatsoever. Let's give you some garlic. I'm not totally sure about this, but I'll tell you what I do like. A 7-6 ox that actually has some built-in scaling. So like, literally every team has a panda, my, my own team included. Okay, you got your own little bee there. I understand, you got your own little ox there, which means I'm gonna lose. I also have to tell you, and this is like, I'm not being genuinely toxic, okay? They need to get this game out on the main branch because the level of competition uh, from 
people on the test branch is too high. It's so hard. <laughs> Everybody's too effing good at the game. Um, and it's irritating. I want... It's finally happened. It gives all other pets 1-1. One, one. Holy bursh. Okay, so you're going to get sold. Yeah, we, we have to do the pivot next round. No apples appear in the shop, by the way. So you got you to gotta be a little precious with this. I hope we don't lose this round. I need the normies back in the game. And I, you, people think they're like a genius. Oh, so you just want people worse than you to play so you can feel better? Yes! I don't want to get better. I just want to win, man. There's no prize on your deathbed. Somebody goes, congratulations, welcome to heaven. You were the objectively best Super Auto Pets player. I want to pack my bags, go to the pearly gates with as much dopamine stuffed into the carry-on as I can. It's, it's nature's way. Okay, hold on. Sell me. I don't think we need to pill you because I don't want to override you with a melon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Smart, smart. I don't know what we're doing with you, just to be honest. We want you to come out. Then we sell you and feed you two apples. Which gives us really like the slightest degree of scaling. Now maybe it's time for this. Roll me. I'm starting to think um, that um, a 3-7 with that limited amount of upside, actually, you know, controversial opinion here, maybe not that good. Maybe it wasn't worth holding the mouse for that long. A panda. I got something new for you. Is it really something new or just panda again? Just panda again. But look at this. Hold on. Stats. Stat me. Stat me. Stat me. Okay, we got a win. We've tied our PB yet again. Sabretooth. I don't, there's a lot of stuff on this squad that needs to go. I do think a Sabretooth could pop with a panda, to be honest. Maybe we can run this for now. A moose is really good. So is a skunk, for the record. I feel like Skunk Sabretooth could do something. Hold on. So a moose also is very strong. It gets 1-1 one, one for each animal above tier 4 in the shop. So I can freeze my tier 4s or greater. Sell you. And then you're going to come out as a 9-10. No. As a an 8-9. But it's still pretty efficient for three gold. And you're a scaling vector for the future. Holy cow, we are dead. <laughs> we are freaking absolutely destroyed. Yeah, okay. Um, well, what have we learned so far on this weekly pack? Panda in this configuration seems insane. Fish has lost some stats. But you know, I still think a, a wide 1-1 one, one level up, I mean, that's pretty much what I went all in for uh, on the Apple play. I don't think the Apple play is the right way to go. Let's be a submissive streamer. I don't know, maybe like Malf or something. I had to turn it around or you would say it was about me. 3-2-3-2-2-3. Three, two, three, two, two, three. All right, we lose this one. But not unexpected with two 2-2s two, two on your team with no, uh, with no upside. I still think fish is good. Because the level up effect is just so freaking strong. And I'm more than willing to lose this round. I'm going to combine fish by an otter. It's just good. So what am I trying to build? Really, we're trying to build a big panda. <laughs> Holy cow, we're going to lose this one. How'd you get 4 HP? That's crazy. You must have sold a mouse or something. Or maybe that's two, uh, two cans on top of one another. Start me here. I, I just don't see it, man. Three or more gold gain, two, two. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try you. 
I really think you should have a croissant. And we'll combine our fish next turn. I don't know. I really don't like the puppy. Ox and panda. Have you no shame, sir? I mean, if I had them, I would be using them. Don't get me wrong. But I think we the, the populace has definitely sussed out. A, there's no arbitrage for a, a one individual man to glean from super auto pets anymore. The algos just get it immediately. Okay, you need faster scaling. Let's buff you. And you know what? I, I feel like you're at least a 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four is not so bad. Why don't, we just, why don't we just offer you as a member of the squad right now? So the puppy's going to get 3-2 per turn as long as we don't spend 3 extra gold. There is an element of, of my mentality right now that just thinks, you know what? Maybe this is actually okay for me. Because it means I just have to be less liberal with my rerolls. And I normally roll, like, all the time. So we gotta be a little bit more sane at this point. Um, garlic isn't really gonna work on anybody. I, I guess for the time being we could just run that and feel like this does give us a chance. Wouldn't mind seeing more puppies in the future. I've been sniped. Dolphin, that's a strong unit. Okay, okay, we lose easily. I gotta say, I feel like the Aardvark, not good right now. Obviously, you gotta go too. But two gold for an apple, I think I would pay that. In my world, that's, that's an acceptable trade. Um, I think the Aardvark would be good if you mixed it up with the free-to-play pack. Like to do damn like an it's an anti turkey kind of which I think has some some serious utility. Why don't we just put you out here as like a you're you're just a good value add level two puppy would help out a lot. That's fine. But I I think in this pack it's not really doing that much because apparently people aren't taking the two can the the unit that you're gonna see nonstop apparently is the is the panda. Now I'm going to lose to a non panda team, and it's going to turn me into the Joker. I'm going to realize that I'm bad, that I need to start spending six hours a day on the Super Auto Pets Discord just to keep up. It's crazy, man. Okay. I'm going to blame that one on the puppy. I just don't think it's that good. Now, you're a great anti-toucan. You know what would really help us augment this is if we added a toucan. Let's be um, an underwhelming streamer. That seems like... Uh, that's been my performance over the past couple videos. It wasn't just a loss in round one. That was like, I got trounced. Yes? Yes. I actually think you could operate here. A, a panda that's going to get a little stronger and a level from our iguanas. It just takes some time to recalibrate, okay? The right now, because of the constant changes in the patches, the meta's moving faster than I am. Not a surprise, necessarily. That's Their iguana is going to win them the day here. Congrats. It's what I wanted for myself. You know you're going up against sweaty people, though, when they made an account on the test build. It doesn't carry over. Hold on. One of these, one of these. I love it. How about... Sell me? Feed the panda. Buy me? Maybe there's a world where the clownfish can get us there. And a panda that scales. We don't really want to give its effect to the toucan. But it is our best unit right now. Interesting. A panda. Hold on. Is it happening? Are we about to win a round? Did it just happen? Okay. Our panda was stronger. We win the round. Hit me with this. Copy your food to it works one time. This only works in battle. We don't really want to give food to a bee, which is the only thing we're summoning right now, so I don't really see the seagull doing anything. Maybe we do this. 
Um, I think we can roll this because at least we can get a, a clownfish trigger if we get another toucan. No toucan, huh? Okay. Then you get stronger every turn. Okay. So we got quite a strong iguana. You always want the iguana at the back because if the enemies are spawning a bunch of bees, we want to make sure the iguana is alive to see all of them. So get owned. Then we're just slowly, we're getting some arbitrage on every single run here. Look at this. One of those, little smack, little smack. We win this. We built a superior team for these purposes. The Iguana, great anti-toucan technology. That's two wins. Now, we ourselves want the toucan. I know, life's twisted, man. It's messed up. Okay, I think that's actually an acceptable turn. I will also say an Iguana that gets a pineapple... I love the idea, but in order for it to be effective, you I mean, honestly, we would need to see more units that come out with more than two health. Holy cow, this is a strong team. Also, I didn't even know deers were available on this. <laughs> At least we went down swinging. That actually wasn't that bad considering their team was actually like insanely good. I'm feeling okay on that one. Give me some levels. Oh my god, you're too good to me. One of these. Now you can go, I'd say. We gotta we'll give you one more of those. It's tough. Um, I don't really care to pass the B back any further. I think I would rather have a dolphin shoot the lowest HP unit. Also, ah, 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 ah. I don't think we care for a level 3 toucan. Two more damage for three gold. It's a bit of a heavy price to pay. I think we can get four wins here. I think we can return to Bronze League. Okay, nice. A panda. Mm, I don't think we'll be returning to Bronze League. But again, we weren't off by that much. But okay, I think we're going to stay in Wood League. I don't see it. I don't see it happening for you. I'm sorry to say. Another toucan? Not a dude, add a buffalo to the squad. Old school? Keeping it old school? And then now. Whatever. We're gonna lose. You're gonna get a B, but whatever. We put our strongest unit at the front now. You're gonna be a 1413. I can live with that. Take some salad. You never know when some salad's gonna make all the difference. I know we're overriding the garlic, okay? But the, on, on the iguana, 120 peacock? Holy cow. Interesting. It's an interesting squad. What a tangled web we weave. I'll take it, okay. Mahogany League. We made it out of pine, I think. Get statted. You need to go. But it has to be for something half decent. It does scale the panda, which is... That was enough for me. Okay. What an interesting... What a tangled web we weave. Take this for now. There's no scorpions in this pack, but there is a unit that can turn another unit into a death touch. That's a little frightening for me. Hold on. Everybody's getting owned. Has this screwed up their team dynamic? I don't really think so, but our iguana... You know, you gotta stick around. At least you come with some upside. Holy cow. Is this what it feels like to, to watch me whip and watch me nay nay? Because I've never felt anything like this before. Level 2 buffalo. Keep scaling. Monkey is always going to be good. Don't get me wrong. But let's add another penguin to the squad for now. Probably should sell the dolphin to get a monkey popping, I think. But maybe we can wait around for it. Level 3 panda. Yeah. I, I, if we could get there, I would love to have the chance. What a shot. What a shot. But what a shot. What a shot. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. I'm ready. <laughs> and you all laughed at my iguana. To think you all laughed at my iguana. Oh, this freaking orca is going to be so annoying, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We drew. We drew anyway. I'll take it. You see what you got to do to hang in this game? It's getting ridiculous, man. Sell me. 
For now, we're gonna run one monkey. I don't think we can run two. We can run, pardon me, one on top of one another. That, that seems fine by me. Okay, let's, let's buff the panda ever so slightly. Now, we basically have two units. Because our panda doesn't do anything. And our monkey and penguin don't do anything. <laughs> true. Too true. Okay, I, li I like what you got there. You got a nice little aardvark buff. That one felt pretty good. Now, admittedly, we can start using our panda to buff another unit. You're getting pretty close. You're not there, but you're getting pretty close. Not interested. Well, I guess, to be honest, you already got garlic. I got to think about this. You're not going over yet, so I'm not sweating that, but soon we could give garlic to another unit, create like a big panda or something. Or, uh, sorry, a big, uh, big uh, penguin, I mean to say. On faint, give one random friend peanuts. It's interesting to turn a unit into a death touch. 150. So you're giving 27 attack. 20 health. So we're gonna keep you on the buffalo for one more round. I'm not gonna take that. I'm just a little scared right now. Next turn, we could get a, a more ponged iguana out there, like pretty close to a 50-50 iguana. Holy cow, man. What the heck is that tiger? The rest of my squad is dead. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Okay. Good work. What are we on? That's, that's what it takes to get to six wins in the modern world. Tiger. The friend ahead repeats their... Oh, that's just the new skin for that tiger. Okay, fair enough. Um, am I willing to sell a penguin? No, I don't think so. Although you're giving 1-1. One, one. I mean, a skunk popping off is worth way more. The problem is more the monkey. This is going to sound crazy. I just don't want an iguana to be at the front. Because then if it dies, it doesn't kill bees. Which is actually... It seems minor, but I think is kind of important. I don't really think you're that good. I To sell a monkey in this economy is like... You're asking for trouble. But I do think like I, I want a skunk. I know, it's strange. I really want a skunk, but who cares how much HP an enemy has if we turn them into a freaking scorpion? <laughs> if we turn our units into a scorpion, who cares? Ooh, wait a minute, and then give them a one-up. Maybe you could get two units with death touch. Maybe you could get three units with death touch. I don't know. And we're, we're creating a big penguin. I don't know if that's the play, okay? Maybe it's better off on the iguana unit, but it really depends who gets the death touch. Okay, a 50-50 toucan. Death touch iguana at the back. It's the worst possible outcome by far. Hold on. No. The, the toucan won it? That's disheartening, man. But it is the best I've ever done it. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like we're puzzling something out. Thanks for watching. Click the like button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya.